And again, thank you all for participating. I know it's early in the morning. I know for some of y'all, you still sleep, you know, but the news never stops. And again, my name is Rose Scott. I'm from WABE 90.1 FM. I'm a reporter and a host. I've been doing this for a long time, probably before most of y'all was born, but that's okay. So I've been doing this for a long time, but this is what I love to do. This is what I've been doing pretty much every day of my life, which is telling the news, interviewing people, going out into the community, whatever the story is of the day, talking to people when they come in about issues. So we're going to stack a newscast. And two hardworking people have just come home. Come on up here, hardworking people, the two that came in late. This is the audience. So we're going to tell them a newscast. And we're going to see if we can really hold their interest. They've been working hard. He's been working all hard. She's been working all hard. So they're our audience. Have a seat, audience. All right. Now, y'all have watched the news, right? Yes. All right, good. I was, I was, usually somebody says, I've never seen news. So they always start with what? Do they start with weather? It depends. Do they start with big news? Do they start with, hey, hold that one up. Do they start with the second big news? Entertainment, feel good? What do y'all think? What is the newscast? Big news. All right. Big news, what's the big news? Stand up and tell us. Big news straight here from FPHS. Donald Trump wins the 2016 presidential election, landslide victory with the 88% vote. Wow, Donald Trump is our president. That's big. <laughs> Donald Trump is in charge. That's big news. All right. Okay. Hold on, hold on. What's the second one? Um, Trump's runs away to Mexico with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Turns out that she's pregnant with his child. Ooh. And she is the lost the Zika, the Zika virus. <laughs> the Zika virus. Okay. So, so Donald. And Hillary, see? <laughs> so Donald and Hillary have a baby. And Hillary has a Zika virus. And Bill Q killed Donald. All right. That's big news. That's big news and that's second big news. All right. All right. What comes after news? What, 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 what's the next thing you want our audience to hear? The weather. The weather. I don't know. Feel good no, no, no. Y'all decide. Feel good after <laughs> now keep 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 this in mind. Keep this in mind. Considering what the current climate is right now in Atlanta, and after what just happened in the Northeast, what do you think people want to hear? After Lord knows that I heard Donald's in charge and he and Hillary had a baby. Weather? I hear weather. Feel good. <laughs> I'll let the producers decide. What do y'all want to hear next? Weather or feel good? Feel good? All right. Feel good. Give us some feel good news. There you go. Feel good. Are we reading both? Yeah, give us two headlines. All right, a girl has cancer, and everybody in her school wears gloves and a mask to look like her so she feel better about herself. Okay, so students rally around sick friend. Okay. What's the other one? Today, the people of Fulton County donated 100 coats to their broke back homeless shelter. The people have spent a month continuing, continuing to, to give money to buy these coats. Now that these people have the coats, let's hope they stay warm for the rest of the winter. Wait, coats? coats. I think coats. No, coats. <laughs> All right, so Fulton County donates coats. Well, it's their story. All right, so this, so those stories made you go, oh, that's, that's really nice. That's, oh, okay, all right. So we got the news, then we went to feel good. What's next? All right, where's weather? Let me walk back here. All right, weather. Weather might depress us all after all that. 
All right, Weather, you're up next. Tell us, Weather, two headlines. All right. Your audience is, they're, they're engaged. Speak up. Shh. Here we come. <laughs> Next big snowstorm is coming in blizzard condition possible. Um, fire. <laughs> um, it got to be about here. Oh my God, you got to come on me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> we got to, we got to talk about here. Oh, we can talk about somewhere somewhere else. Wait, it, this, it, what, it's your department. Weather is your department, so. Oh, okay. We got a snowstorm, a blizzard's coming. What else is happening in weather? Oh, okay, okay, it said meteorologist Dominique forecast the next big storm, 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 storm snowstorm is coming from the um, Pacific Lakes this week. Okay, so another storm is, so two storms are coming or just one? Just one. Okay, all right, sports. Come on, come on. All right, sports, you need the headlines. Pay attention, everybody. Right. Come on, no violence now. Which way are we going? The audience now. Yeah, okay, you can stand over there. Yeah. All right, come on, sports. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Noah Bryan. This is Lindsey McMillan, and we're here from Sports Center. This is it. Who likes Kobe Bryant? Everybody loves Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, because I do. But guess what? You know how Kobe says he's going to retire? Well, no. He just signed a five-year extension with, guess what? Not the Lakers. The Oklahoma City Thunder. <laughs> Kobe says he feels better and his knees just rejuvenated out of nowhere. Good <laughs> feels like KD and Russell Westbrook will give him the best opportunity to win not five, not six, but ten championships in a row. <laughs> Michael Jordan is coming out of his retirement, not for baseball, but for basketball, but for football. This past weekend, he tried out for the Atlanta Falcons quarterback position because Matt Ryan, he was recently killed in a car accident. <laughs> so we have a new quarterback for Atlanta Falcons and we're looking for some championships. Ah. Well, that's all <laughs> Kobe Bryant will not retire, but he's going to get 10 more championships with the Thunder. Okay, all right. And MJ is back. He's going to be the QB for the Falcons because y'all done killed Matt Ryan. All right. That's all right. All right. Entertainment. Let's get over there. Entertainment. Come on, entertainment. What you got? Gabrielle Union gives the ultimate clap back when asked about Stacey, Stacey Dash. Replying with the who is that, um, I don't know who that is. I've heard of her, but who is that? <laughs> August has seen the cheats on his girlfriend and gets his cousin unknowingly pregnant. Whoa, back up. <laughs> All right, let me make sure I got this right. Gabrielle Union dissed Stacey Dash, which this is the editorial, which means I'm not supposed to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway, which is probably a good thing. Um, <laughs> Augie got his cousin and pregnant and they gonna have a baby. Is that right? All right. Y'all had a full newscast today, audience. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> what grabbed your attention? The sports. The sports? All right. Yeah. What grabbed your attention? Well, what did you argue the sports? The sports? Yeah. Is it because of the energy they had and how they delivered it? Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> but, but what they said is important because Different media outlets give news in a different way. What you hear on V103, when they give the news, might be different when I give the news. It's okay. It's all different. What Fox does or CNN or TMZ, Sports Center, and I love Sports Center. You know, when they give the news, they got a lot of energy and they're dropping a lot of, you know, slang and all that. And, that, and that's cool because it just depends on your audience. You want to keep your audience engaged. But the most important thing, and I let it slide because I wanted y'all to have some fun. The most important thing when you're a journalist, you got to tell the truth. You can't make up stuff, although we had fun with that. Because I tell people all the time, I don't have to be first in breaking a story. I want to tell the story correctly. Do I want to be first or do I want to be right? Because you never ever want to report a news story 
that you know is incorrect. You can ruin people's lives like that. You can ruin your own life like that. So where am I going with this? We all have a news story, right? We all have a big story that pertains to us. Might have a little entertainment in it. Might have a little sports in it. You know, might have a little weather in it. So you need to take the approach of how you tell stories, whether as a reporter, whether as you're working on your team, working with your team on the field. How you tell a story is important. Make sure you tell the story with accuracy. Make sure you tell the truth. Because if I'm Augie and I turn on the entertainment, and they talking about I got my cousin pregnant when I don't even have a cousin, <laughs> you know? And we know it was fun. I'm not picking on y'all. We know it wasn't fun. And I wanted y'all to have fun. Truth lies within you. You have to tell the truth. If you tell the truth to each other, no matter what profession you take, you tell the truth in that profession. All right? I know y'all sitting here like, oh, lady, we done went from Matt Ryan and MJ to, but it's important in what you do. Does anybody here have any idea what they want to do in life? If you don't, it's okay. What do you want to do? All right, what about you? A biomedical engineer. All right, what about you? Pilot. Pilot, okay. You really need to tell the truth. Because if I ask you, have you been drinking and you about to go fly a plane, what are you going to say? No. Because I, yeah, I was, you hesitated for a minute. I was like, <laughs> well, what else? Big dreams. What you got? I want to be a physical therapist. Physical therapist. Anybody else? Uh, you should be a sport. Welcome to the club. I'm going to take care of you. You stick with me, you have a job when you graduate. Next. We got dreams. What about you? Lawyer. Lawyer? Yeah, I'm good. They might need you if they can start working and stuff. Anybody else? Psychology. Psychology. Yeah, you might, the argue might need you after that, too. <laughs> Who's next? It's okay if you don't know. We got some athletes over here. I think everybody will get one. Want to be in the NBA? I want to be a coach. I like that coach, yeah. All right. Who, 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 what, basketball? Basketball, football over there? Football? Who's the fastest over there? Me? Oh, look at you, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, no matter what you do, no matter what profession you choose, and then if it's broadcasting, that's great. If not, that's okay, too. You have a military. What, do you, what about you? What are your dreams? Um, I either want to be a maritime specialist or an intelligence officer. Wow. That's awesome. She's going to be a French teacher, actually. <laughs> <laughs> really? You speak French? She's one of the top of my class. Really? Wow. I, could, I just found out my roots are in Cameroon, so I might need to have you help me with that. So. But the reason why I wanted to build this newscast for y'all is for two reasons. One, I wanted you all to see how we put a newscast together, whether it's radio or television. And two, I wanted you all to work together. How was that experience? Did y'all work together? Yeah. Did most of y'all know each other before coming in here? Yeah. No? So, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did anybody have any challenges? Was it hard trying to come up with something on the fly because you all hadn't really worked together? Was there challenges? How'd you get through it? How'd you work together? Uh, we, we, we gave in. You gave, oh, you gave in? Yeah, we did elimination because we had like four headlines that we said too, so we was like, okay, we want to do some post-story, nobody was here, cross it out. Okay. And then we just got down to the two, top two. All right, so you work together. Yes, ma'am. And that's what, I, that's what I have to do with my crew at WABE. I have two producers, actually I have three producers. I have a co-host. Sometimes we don't always agree, but we get through it. I'm not going to stand up here and tell you that everything's rosy, but no pun intended. <laughs> but, yeah, Rose, you got it? <laughs> you can't get nothing over her, boy. She just... <laughs> no. Um, sometimes it is a challenge, you know? But how you work with people is important, you know? How you talk to people and not at people. What's the difference? What's the difference in talking to someone and talking at them? What's the difference? Talking to them, touch the soul. It goes out one ear. How many one ear goes out the other? So it's all about how you come at me, is what yeah. you're saying. All right. Okay. Y'all have any questions about what I do? Uh, don't ask me what I file on my taxes. The last group I talked to her, like, how much you make, Ms. Rose? I was like, look, you don't. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Any questions? 
I absolutely did. Uh, actually, I, this true story, I know y'all not going to believe me, but a long time ago, people used to listen to sports on the radio. <laughs> so I used to listen to Cardinals baseball games with my dad. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. My dad and I would go fishing, and he would always have his little <laughs> transistor radio. Some of y'all old folks, y'all know about a transistor radio. I know you know, Miss Rice, I know you know. <laughs> And so my dad and I, you know, we're out there fishing and we'd have the Cardinals baseball game on the radio. It was something about hearing this voice from the radio. The broadcaster's name was Jack Buck. And I was like, wow, I want to do this, Daddy. I, I want to do this. And I, I remember I used to watch football with my dad, too, on Sundays. Our big sports. Our whole family's into sports. And I never saw any people that looked like me, meaning I never saw any black women on TV. Can y'all imagine watching TV when there are no, hardly any black folks? Y'all can't even imagine that, can you? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine turning on your TV, not seeing anybody that looks like you? Can you imagine that? I've experienced that. But then I saw a woman named Jane Kennedy, and she was doing sports. And I was like, I could do that. And my father said to me, I was seven years old, my father said to me, he said, you can do anything you want to do. And I knew I wanted to somehow work in news and sports. So I also worked for my high school newspaper, and then I, I went to school in Indiana, and I majored in communications, radio, TV, film. And there, there's so much involved. You guys have so much more than when I was in high school. We didn't have the old Twitter and the old Facebook and Snapchat or whatever y'all got going on out there. What's it called, Snapchat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we ain't had none of that. Thank God we didn't have any of that. So you all have a lot of opportunities. And the internet wasn't even, let me tell you something. A fax machine. Does anybody know what a fax machine is? Yes. Okay. Whew. When the fax machine came out, that was a big deal. When VCRs came out, anybody know what a VCR is? Yes. Okay, I'm just checking because, you know, that was a big deal. Y'all have so much more in terms of technology and how you get your news. Like weather back there, they, pil they pulled up the, their, their cell phone and looked up weather. Do you know how awesome that is? We didn't have that. We want another weather report, we went outside on the porch. <laughs> or you waited till the evening news. When I was growing up, there, there was no CNN, there was no really, there was, cable was just, man, when MTV came out, man, we, you know Miss Rice. <laughs> MTV came out, we lost our mind. We saw Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk, we was like, what? I know, I, I got skills now. <laughs> Y'all have so much more. So, so much more that you get your information from than what we did. So for me, I knew I wanted to do this. And I've, been, I've enjoyed watching this transition, how y'all get your news, how y'all communicate with each other, with your little texting and all that. And stop texting and driving too, by the way. Don't be doing that. I see a lot of y'all doing that. So y'all have so many more mediums of, of communicating than what we did. So the opportunity is there. Some of y'all can start your own online newscast right now if you wanted to. Y'all can start, y'all have a news department here at the high school, right? You got a paper, right? You have a radio program? Y'all can start a radio program, put it online. Miss Rice will help you. I just, I just volunteer, Miss Rice. Miss <laughs> Rice, I ain't never tell her to come back. No, y'all have a lot y'all can do. And I know some of y'all are graduating. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, we, we, we very proud of that. So, so, Take advantage of those opportunities, y'all. If entertainment is your thing, do entertainment. <coughs> Sports is your thing, do that. All right? Any other questions for me? Oh, go ahead, sir. What's your name? Stand up, sir. <laughs> Andrew Courtney, Mr. Courtney. Hey, Mr. Courtney. French teacher, most of the time. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, just curious about a day in the life uh, over at NPR. Uh, well, what was, what was our news? My, a day for me depends on what's happening here. This week, the big news for us has been a, an associate superintendent in the Georgia Department of Education got fired. Anybody know why he got fired? Because he, he had some racially insensitive comments on Facebook. That was big news. 
There's some big news coming out of APS today. I can't tell y'all, but just just stay stay tuned. <laughs> There's always big news. It ain't about nobody cheating, so don't spread that rumor. But well, it could be. So whatever whatever's happening in the news. Hold on for a second, y'all. Whatever's happening in the news, that's my day. Right now, lawmakers are meeting. State lawmakers are passing all these different laws. So we have to, I'm sorry? Oh, the 40 days in legislation. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we keep track of them. So they may pass a law that says, and this is a true story. A few years ago, a lawmaker had a, <laughs> a bill that he introduced, which made it okay for people to pick up their roadkill and take it home. Because previously, if you hit something, you couldn't take the roadkill. It was called the roadkill bill. So if you're ever driving in North Georgia and you hit a deer, feel free to take it home and cook it because we have a law that says it's okay. That's what our lawmakers are doing. <laughs> so, so anyway, my day depends on what's happening in the news. If Michael Jordan comes out of retirement, that's going to be big news, especially if he's going to play quarterback for the Falcons. That's big news. And sometimes, understand this, sometimes this stuff intersects. Sometimes the weather is the big news. If a blizzard is coming, really? If a blizzard is coming, that's the big news. If, what's his name, Augie, whatever his name is? Yeah, that might be big news in California, LA, because you know they're all about Hollywood. <laughs> so it also depends on what part of the country you live in. What's big in Atlanta may not be big in Boston, may not be big in Oklahoma. Well, if MJ's coming to the Thunder, or Kobe's coming to the Thunder, that's big news. So it just depends on where you live, too. But that's how my day is. I get up in the morning. I'm out like this because I was asked to speak to y'all, which I'd never, ever pass the opportunity. But usually I get up about 6 o'clock, check after I meditate and feed the cats. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Whoa, right? You, you living with two cats, let me tell you. Um, so I, I, I wake up to my news station because I want to hear what's happening. And I, I check my email to make sure any guests that we have invited to the show, because our show comes on at noon, and I'm on from noon to 2, 90.1 FM. This is on your lunch break. Uh, make sure nobody's canceled. Make sure there isn't any breaking news overnight. Governor Deal said, that's it, I'm done. I don't want to be governor anymore. Send out a press release. See ya. So I check to make sure there's no breaking news that, happens, that happened overnight that we might want to put in our newscast at 12 o'clock. So I check my email, get ready, go to work. I have a meeting with my co-hosts, my producers. We go over today's show. OK, what's our big story for today? Is is uh, Senator so-and-so coming in? Is this person coming in? We've had a lot. We've had people from this school on our show, right? It's a wonderful show, isn't it? Tell us about your experience when you came to 90.1 FM. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, who are you again? What's your name? Oh, I'm Mr. Campbell, for those who don't know. Um, and I teach engineering. But last year, our students did a project uh, building with rockets. And... Um, we were invited to WABE uh, to tell about our experience dealing with the rockets. And I took a student with me, uh, took him to Graham. Some of you all probably know him, probably friends of some of you all. And uh, we went to the station and we, uh, they prepped us, told us to make sure we talked into the mic and that kind of thing. And then we went to the studio with Miss Rose, and it was Dennis. Dennis Van right. right. Dennis was my son. And uh, they simply interviewed us, asked us about our experiences working with the rocket. They interviewed your Kendra, and it turned out pretty nicely. There was a live broadcast. So as we were talking, you could hear it uh, in your car, at your home, that kind of thing. And it's very interesting because you just see how everything goes in order. And uh, you don't have an opportunity to put it together because it's happening live. So it was a very good, it was a very good experience. And what was key was that he said it was live. You mess up. You mess up. He didn't mess up. You mess up, that's it. You know? Do we mess up? Yeah. Do we sometimes get people's names wrong? That's why we ask people <laughs> before they come on the show, how do you pronounce your name? But it happens. But that's live because we know we have an audience. 
and we want to give our audience the best information they can. So we practice, you know, we help each other out. We go over the day's show, so there are no surprises. We have an engineer, have two produce, three producers, you know, and we, we use technology. Now, just in this little bit, and I know y'all ready to go, this is how important this phone is. There's an update from the Associated Press. United Nations Health Agency says 3.4 million cases of the Zika infection in the Americas over next year. And that's big news. Three to four million cases of the Zika virus. Breaking news. I have a question for you. Sure. Especially in local stories, I see you're getting things on, on AP and all that, the national news, but the Atlanta thing is supposed to break big. How do you find out about something? A lot of different ways. Um, press releases, you know, government government folks. I love Kasim Reed, Mayor Reed. I, we're, we're buddies, but Lord knows, Mayor Reed sent a press release every five minutes. But that's okay, because we want to know what's happening with the city. I'd rather have it that way than the city never tell us what's going on, right? Don't you want to know what the government's doing? Don't you want to know what the mayor and the governor and the president's doing? So, and they want the media coverage. It's important. So when the storm was coming last week, people wanted to know, well, is the city prepared? Are, are we going to be ready? So Mayor Reed at a press conference sends out a press release. All the media shows up. We interview them. We record them. We report the news. So between that, and sometimes people pitch us stories. Like, for example, the Feel Good Group. Y'all had a story about Fulton County donating coats, right? Well, Fulton County may call us up and say, hey, we are giving away a thousand coats to homeless people. That's a story. Y'all want to come out and cover it? Sure. That's a feel-good story. So we'll come out there and we'll do that. Sometimes you might see another story that maybe TMZ reports it first. Lord knows we don't want to take our cues from TMZ, but that's okay. <laughs> so if I see a story that TMZ reported, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can localize this. And y'all said, what, Gabrielle Union this Stacy Dash, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's because of comments that Stacy Dash made, right? Mm -hmm. So well, how can we localize that? Well, maybe we'll call up some actors who we know live in Atlanta and say, hey, did you hear what Gabrielle Union did? What do you think about that? That's how you localize a national story. Or you call Tyler Perry, say, Medea. How you feel about the Oscars, you know? That's how you localize a story. That's how you take a national headline and you localize it. Any other questions? Y'all good? Y'all gonna watch the news? Now y'all can watch the news and say, you know what? I wouldn't have put that story there because Ms. Rose would probably put that story at the end. So now, before we leave, I just want to be really clear. We had the big news. That was first, right? We're okay with that? We're gonna go back over. So y'all missed the newscast, y'all. Man, let me tell you what you missed, man. Pay attention. Donald Trump is in charge. He's president now. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but then Donald and Hillary ran off because Hillary was pregnant and she has a Zika virus. It's the news, okay? Then we went to the, because after all that, we were like, whoa. So then we went to a feel-good story. So students rallied around a, a sick friend who had cancer. And then Fulton County donated coats to homeless people. That's a feel-good story, all right? Next on our newscast, the snowstorm is coming. There's a blizzard. We're all going to die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> After that, we went to sports. And everybody loves sports. Everybody loved all the report. But sports was, check this out. Kobe Bryant will not retire. He's going to go to the Oklahoma Thunder and win 10 championships. <laughs> <laughs> The next story was Michael Jordan is back, but playing football because he's going to be the quarterback of the Falcons because apparently Matt Ryan had an unfortunate <laughs> death. Then entertainment. Gabby, Gabrielle Union dissed Stacey Dash. Yes, she did. <laughs> and what's his name? Augustine? Uh, Augustine. Augustine. Yeah, that dude. Uh, <laughs> apparently got his cousin pregnant and they had a baby. So that was the newscast. <laughs> so you missed the news, man. <laughs> that was y'all newscast. It was a very, very good newscast, y'all. Y'all should be proud. <laughs>